What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and we have more Game of Thrones news today. Um, earlier, much earlier, you know, I'm not really a Game of Thrones channel. I am a fan. I've never made a video about it before. However, we had a big, you know, a big thing come down earlier that right here, Game of Thrones prequel pilot starring Naomi Watts not going forward to HBO. So we heard during the state season about all these different projects that they had in development. Well, it turns out that they're in different stages of development and they're not going forward with all of them. This one got canceled. So this was big news that came out today. Um, obviously, Gary from Nerdrotic is all over all the Game of Thrones stuff. He did a great video about it, so you should check it out. But, you know, essentially, this was supposed to take place, you know, during the Age of Heroes, like thousands of years before what we've experience in Game of Thrones. Now, today, later, about an hour ago, Game of Thrones prequel House of the Dragon gets HBO series order. So just hours after they say, we're not going forward with the series, it's done, we find out that House of the Dragon gets an HBO series order. So, so let's take a look here. The order for House Targaryen focused drama arrives after Cabler officially killed its Naomi Watts-led project. Hours after the surprising decision to pass on Naomi Watts Game of Thrones prequel, HBO on Tuesday afternoon announced a straight-to-series order for a prequel series in the world of Westeros called House of the Dragon. The rumored series is focused on House Targaryen and created by Game of Thrones author George R. R. Martin and Ryan Condal was given a formal series order on Tuesday at the end of HBO Max, formal unveiling to investors. Condal will pen the script for the 10-episode series. Now, HBO Max um, is actually, probably I'm going to say that for a whole different video because it looks very interesting, all the stuff that they have going. HBO is making a huge push right now. But, you know... It is interesting that just hours after they killed that, they announced this. So they obviously had this planned out. I am honestly much more, well, I can't say much. I am I am a little more interested in this, learning more about House Targaryen 300 years before. Obviously, if you've read some of the other books, they do talk a little bit about House Targaryen. But as you can see here, the prequel set 300 years before events in the flagship series that tracks the beginning and end of House Targaryen. Ex oh, okay, exactly, right here. Martin Connell will pen the script for the drama, which is based on Martin's book, Fire and Blood, which is one of the ones that's come out, instead of the one in the main series, A Song of Ice and Fire, which is really what we want, right? So George R. R. Martin's going to spend more time writing scripts instead of writing his book. So I'm sure that'll please all the hardcore fans. The Game of Thrones universe is so rich with stories, says programming president Casey Bloys. We look forward to exploring the origins of House Targaryen in the earlier days of Westeros, along with Miguel, Ryan, and George. So this is a situation where it's not necessarily going to be new stories. It's just going to be, well, likely anyway, it's going to be fire and blood kind of brought to life, much like A Song of Ice and Fire is brought to life through Game of Thrones. Now, obviously, once they ran out of content for that, we saw what Benioff and Weiss ended up doing. And obviously, Benioff and Weiss, they want to work on Star Wars instead of focusing on Season 8 Game of Thrones. We all saw how that turned out. Season 8 was awful, and they just left the Star Wars project for Netflix. So, um, But they're making out like bandits in their Netflix deal, so I, I guess you can't blame them too much. So here, here's one of the things I, I wanted to say, right? HBO first announced four prequel series in the works and quietly added a fifth one in the months that followed. Of those, two are still active at HBO. Um, HBO president Casey Bloys previously told The Hollywood Reporter that he would not do any sort of sequel trilogy to its recently wrapped Emmy franchise. So they're only looking at prequels. And so it's just really interesting for this to come out because we heard a lot of reaction today talking about HBO basically pulling back from all their Game of Thrones content and then hours later they announced they are going forward with this prequel straight to order. They're straight to series. Expanding the World of Thrones remains a top priority for the paid cabler, which is under a new parent company, Warner Media. This is the first time HBO has ever revisited one of its scripted originals for a prequel spinoff of any sort. Very interesting. HBO, for its part, has been on an aggressive buying spree as it looks to compete with million-dollar streaming companies like, from the likes of Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, and Apple TV, among others. The pilot pass arrives a day after Game of Thrones showrunners, like we talked about, Ben Affleck and Weiss, walked away from the planned trilogy of Star Wars feature films. And it goes ahead and talks about uh, they departed their overall deal with a premium outletter for a $250 million film and TV pack with Netflix. That's an insane amount of money. I don't know if Netflix is going to regret that. But there you go. There is the uh, House of the Dragon. Fire will rain. That's the promotional image. So... 
Very interesting. Uh, very interesting. It, it's crazy. You know, we got the Star Wars. We got Mandalorian trailer. Then we had the uh, Benioff and Weiss. Then we have Game of Thrones news the next day. Then we have more Game of Thrones news the following day. So it's been pretty crazy the past few days. A lot of people making videos. Uh, like I said, I've never made a Game of Thrones video before just because my channel hasn't been active when Game of Thrones has really been relevant. But now it is. You know, I, I was a big fan of the first several years of Game of Thrones. I got into the books and everything because of the TV series. And then around season six or seven, I really was pushing back on it. Specifically season seven, I hated. I, I didn't understand how they were getting from one point to another. I feel like nothing really happened overall in that season. It was all just leading up to the end of the season, which was season eight. No battle happened. And then season eight was what it was. We're not going to talk about that. But I am tentatively interested in this. I did read Fire and Blood. I thought it was interesting uh, to see it play out on TV. It's not something new, but it, it would be nice, right? It, it would be cool to see a good adaptation of it. I would wish that George R. R. Martin would focus on finishing A Song of Ice and Fire rather than these prequels, but it is what it is. What do you guys think of this news? Crazy news we've had. First, we thought Game of Thrones, what, they were getting rid of all their stuff, and then all of a sudden they announced, well, this prequel's good to go. So very interesting from HBO. Let me know your thoughts below. Make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a special thank you to all my incredible patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, or send something to my P.O. box? All the links are in the description. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.